if I have a goal race coming up, should I focus on training to be in my best shape and deal with this after, or should I try and gain some weight while I'm training? I kind of take the attitude, like no time, like the present. Ye who has prepared the most and is showing up with the most resilient body will have the best race. And I think that's one shift that really needs to occur is, um, you know, sometimes I hear these tough conversations around race weight or not taking recovery days. But when we dig in, it's usually those that have been able to have the most consecutive training that have actually hit the most PRs. And that has nothing to do with their weight but it does have everything to do with adequate sleep, sufficient energy, sitting through those rest and recovery days and, and being able to participate in them to have that perfect race. So for someone who is a high school or collegiate athlete who um, really wants to perform, wants to do what they can, um, but they don't ever really get a window of where they can focus on this. What additional things would you say for something, someone like that? So I'll meet them where they're at, kind of looking at um, how much energy deficit we have to make up. And then we'll slowly make changes from there. When you look at the, the literature that talks about how um, 250 to 400 calorie difference can start some of the dis dysfunction I go back from there. So can we possibly start to make those increments and add in a little bigger snack or start to train our gut to be able to tolerate more? Those are small changes that will make a big impact in the long run that should not and would not impact their ability to race or train. Matter of fact, it's going to help their body start to recover quicker and be able to handle more of the training volumes which hopefully will give them that nice run for state at the end of season okay. or championships. Yes, that's what we want. <laughs> <laughs>